I got a question for you. What did you do Sunday morning? Well, if you were Lorne Ace Atkinson, you'd have been outside, rain or shine, riding your weekly 75 kilometers on your road bike. And just in case you're wondering, that's a long way, especially in your 70s. So why do you think Ace does this every week? Because he loves it. He is passionate about cycling and feeling good. Lots of people enjoy cycling. Some people take it really seriously, like Torchy and Doug Peden. They were the pioneers of this extreme sport in BC. Check out these three great athletes and learn more about cycling history in our photo gallery. It's one minute past midnight at Madison Square Gardens, the birthplace of the phenomenon known as six-day bicycle racing. And there they go. There's no turning back now. For the next six days, at least one rider of these two-man teams will be on the track day and night. Now here's a fellow who's taken more than his share of the prizes, Torchy Peden. The towering Torchy is from Vancouver, British Columbia. At six foot three, Torchy is one of the biggest boys both on the track and in the eyes of his fans who flock to arenas all over North America to watch him compete in these squirrel cage races. It's not all fun and games. Spills take their toll as these riders begin to tire at the end of one of their shifts on the saucer. No brakes on these bicycles. Torchy will probably never forget the time he fell asleep on his bicycle, veered from the track, and happened to land in his own bunk. The highlight of any race is the jam. When a rider tries to break from the pack and gain a lap, these speed demons can hit 50 miles per hour. Before he can leave the track to grab a meal and a few minutes sleep, a rider must be paced by his relief. In Torchy's case, that's sometimes his brother Doug, who also caught six-day fever. It's a grueling ordeal. But it's all worth it when the bouquets go to the winner. Not to mention the cash prizes that put these daredevils among the highest paid athletes in the world. Atta boy, Torchy.